trout, the trout is a towel, it's a whoosh and they all ran away. The trout is a towel. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. <laughs> Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. I'll tell you once. You. You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Even if we're being honest. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. I don't take orders from you. No, but you take orders from him. Idiot, you're his squire. Now fetch him some wine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Let your go. Tonight we celebrate. Mad. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, king in the north. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Winter is coming! Aye! Aye! Let's yeah. wait till this bloody war's over. Got it. Winter is coming. That basically means the, the zombies. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Fuck him. Now go, and 
And find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. But this basically takes place uh, near the end of season three, basically. Yeah. At the wedding. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Oh, no, you haven't, sir. Mm, I can't clip my. Anyway. Watch more wine. Rub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up ignoring while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's uh. where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in oh my god. Fucking far. wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Sure, man. Sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Yep, the red wedding. I'm not gonna spoil Apathy if you haven't watched the the show. But Take your time. Yeah. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders, in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? I've just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Oh, bollocks. Um, uh... We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have saved him. I'm so sorry. I'm so... <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I, I, sh I should have saved him. Yeah, this game is a, a bit old, like one or two years. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, there's nothing else uh, to do for gameplay. Someone's really... Someone's 
summer is really bad for games. Yeah, so. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck you. I just. Oh, my God. Nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. Oh, I'm I, sorry. I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. I, I didn't think he would die. <laughs> <laughs> oh. To my friends, I better look. I better look so shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Keep moving, my lord. I'll never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time. Don't run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones, yeah. I piss my mates off because I just love it that much. You have to go. I, I won't leave you, my you lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. I ain't your bitch. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Man. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Carry runs.
<laughs> I had to do that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the key areas, uh, King's Landing, that's all the power, all that um, politics and all that. The wall, that's where people go to become uh, the Night's Watch, and that's where they look at, they basically make sure the zombies don't go over, the White Walkers don't go over to, um, you know. I'm such a nerd, I even know what the land is called, Westeros. <laughs> but, um, I would recommend it, to be fair. It's like Lord of the Rings, but with sex and a, a lot more violence. I mean, it's a bit late now to say watch it, because there's been six seasons, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, like, there are no games out in the summertime, so I thought I'll do something new, because um, The Walking Dead Telltale's coming out, so I wanted to know if you guys kind of like this sort of stuff. Um... Yeah, people don't like it because it's slow paced, but I quite like it because of, you know, the characters and how they get the story going and all that. But yeah, like each episode is only like an hour and a half long, there's six, ep six episodes all together. So, um, might be a. Uh, okay, cut me up, you prick. Might be a, a short series, but short but sweet, isn't it? Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Gosh. Oh no! Why? What? Why would you do that? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Why would you do that? Well, That's. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. Then you just kill him, dickhead. That sword's too big for you, boy. Oh well. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. Cool. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. What the fuck? Oh, did I get it? I don't. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. Yeah, the circle was uh, really close. I was like, what? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh, that didn't work out too well. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a Axe, pig. man. Bollocks. <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> Fuck you. No, why are you, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my What do I do? Oh my god, I wasn't ready for that. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. Oh. I have no problem. I, I was only following orders. Oh, for God's sake! Thank you. Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. 
that much I promise. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Hmm? I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. Oh, they're pricks, they are. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Good. I can need that. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. I think that is responding These with strength, isn't want it? To help prevent infection. So what maggots? Oh, for me, would you? Yeah, maggots is gonna. Ah, oh, I don't want to do it. Okay. That's nice. Why are you putting maggots in? Why are you? That's just gonna. Oh, I don't want to see that. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I don't think I want it, but... I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Oh, I'm actually... Oh. 
That is a shit throwing, man. Compared to the one in King's Landing. Oh, yeah, a window. Yeah, that's a shit. Ironwood Grove. And we don't get to see it. Amazing. Yeah, I don't think I need to look at a shield. I think everyone knows what a shield is. And if you don't, then I'm sorry, but there's something wrong with you. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Mirror. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Mirror. Gregor That's... the Good. <laughs> Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Who, who names a girl? Mirror? Talia. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. I want to look. Oh. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Mirror. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Menu codex page. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. That is long. Who is the new lord? Uh... Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Oh. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <laughs> It's fucking daylight. Are you are you all right in the head? Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. Uh, you were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us. Oh, he's a the hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. 
The act of that was in misfits. You, what this means. Yeah. you killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family, and they'll pay for what they've done. Yeah. That much, I like how they've got um, now is not the, time the actors for the show for this game when? as well. We have to yeah, be that's smart. cool. Ramsey Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done yeah. nothing wrong. No, I'm, I'm the going there. The I don't care. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. <laughs> Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and, and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well-deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. Oh, don't, uh... What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Yes, I want to become a ranger. I'm not being a squire. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, 
You represent from House Forrester. Heat. Your actions at the war will reflect oh, no. the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. <laughs> Just look at his face then. <laughs> we'll need a shit. Garrett, wait! Piss off. I'll laugh if I just walked away with it. Be safe. Aww, you're too dumb. This is cool, man. I'm gonna see Jon Snow. My bear. Oh god, Ethan. I never, I never, I never know when to stop it. Ethan. Who's this gay twat? I couldn't find him. I, I like gays and all that, you know. I'm not against them, but j look at him. <sighs> he hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe let's see, something let's... happened to him. Ethan's fine. Let's see his He's voice. just forgotten oh, this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. <sighs> don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. Well, I thought we'd never find you again. Twat. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. Dragons and sheep. And, and Roderick. That's, that's what hide and seek is called in, uh, in, in this game. She come home? Dragons and sheep. I want her to die too. Sheep are going to hide from the sheep. She's perfectly safe, I promise you. But do you though? I don't want Gerard to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Yeah, that's sick. I'll miss Gerard. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Bastard. And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Do you remember when we were younger? And we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Oh, it's just my Everybody sister. Well, I was going to say something then, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, he's my brother. Oh, for you God's can do sake! You want. I suppose. I have a retard as a brother, Everyone man. Have to do as you say. Shadow so fighting the with a stick. <laughs> Only it with that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, 
You're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Uh, after the Great Hall the bit, matter? uh, Lord I'll end it. This is a bit longer than I anticipated, like this video. But, um... Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. <laughs> Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Ride him who is Lord. Stay here. I go with him. Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. I look nothing like her. Even my nose is different. Yeah, after this bit I'll end it. <clears throat> they showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is, was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's yeah. not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men will run for Yeah, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. Yeah, I mean, I do like it, so I do want to carry on, but it's all up to you guys. Really, because I don't, I don't want to do something that makes you bored of my Lord channel. Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family, uh, it's still a loss. I knew it. My that. only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Why did I I've do been that? Waiting for this day all my life. Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. I wonder if there's an the option where you can actually... Salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. Amateur, go on. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roos Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Maybe if you hadn't been so I didn't what I clicked the iron circle. Wood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, bollocks. Fucking bulk over her. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. That's not how it happened. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer yeah. for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him, 
By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. Ooh, what kind sorry. of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this... house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then cool. we'll see whose word is law. Cool. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Fat bastard. You can't talk because look at your hair for one bit. Your dick's probably small and you got lady. fucked up by a farmer. Stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Gordon. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Alright, I send it now. But yeah, if you guys want me to do more of this, uh good.